Young Iowa resident Philip Parker is a spunky 12-year-old who loves playing basketball in his spare time. Philip also has a blood disorder called von Willebrand disease. There's a whole bunch of stuff in my blood that sticks together when I bleed. And I don't have it working right. Philip isn't the only one in his family with von Willebrand. His mother, Denise, was diagnosed with the disease 25 years ago after her arm became bruised and swollen following a prior blood test. Whenever I have to have a procedure done, um, it requires treatment beforehand. And usually something that would just be an outpatient surgery requires a hospital stay. So it just kind of makes everything more complicated. Philip, it's just been kind of an evolving experience as far as him understanding what it means when he gets a bruise, you know, that that's a bleeding inside under his skin. Our bodies have developed an efficient mechanism to control bleeding. When the system is defective, it throws the process off balance. This is what happens with von Willebrand disease. When a blood vessel is damaged and starts bleeding, it triggers a three-step process. First, the vessel constricts, slowing the flow of blood to the injured area. Then, platelets in the blood start sticking to and spreading on the walls of the damaged vessel. Finally, a clot forms on the surface created by these platelets, stopping the bleeding. I always tell my patients that blood vessels are like water pipes. If you have a crack in a water pipe, you leak water. In this case, if your blood vessel is damaged, you're going to bleed. We have a system that is a clotting system where the platelets are part of it that is going to come and repair that blood vessel and repair the leak. Von Willebrand factor is almost like a glue that allows the platelets to stick to each other and to stick to the damaged wall and eventually make a plug and stop the leak. This is the family that we're studying for this variability of von Willebrand's disease. Though von Willebrand disease is potentially fatal in rare instances, 70 to 80 percent of cases are classified as mild to moderate. Typical symptoms include frequent nosebleeds, bloody gums, and easy bruising. Philip has mild von Willebrand. He knows about the dangers surrounding his blood disorder, but that hasn't stopped him from playing. Just last week, he was up at the hospital because he crashed, fell on his knees really hard, and um, hit his face and hit his wrists, and, and that was at school in the gym. I jumped backwards to avoid a ball and smashed into the floor. He looks at stopping and getting an ice pack and pressure on an injury as time away from the game. Sometimes he's, he's kind of like, oh, mom, just go let me play basketball. Current treatment options for patients are medications that boost the body's supply of von Willebrand factor. These medications include an easy-to-use nasal spray for mild von Willebrand. Individuals with more severe symptoms can receive infusions loaded with von Willebrand factor, known as replacement therapy. For a short period, at least, you can often double or triple the von Willebrand factor level for the patient. You know, I really don't spend a lot of time thinking about the disease um, and whether there'll be a cure. I feel like it's, it's really quite manageable. 